All right, kitties. We got a lush treat tonight. So this is the Dragon Bubble Bar. It is a reusable bubble bar, and it's two pieces. Let's see, look at that. There's two sticks here. Here is his head. Really beautiful, really nicely made. Looks like his mouth is open. I don't know. And here's his butt. So tonight we're going to go ahead and use his butt, because his head looks really pretty on the shelf. And we're going to shrink wrap him and stick him back on the shelf until we use him again. But if the tail doesn't do much, we're going to go ahead and use the head as well. But there is a piece of paper in here that you have to dislodge. See the back? You gotta pull that piece of paper out. You don't want that piece of paper floating around your bathtub because then you're swimming with some paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pause this video, pluck this piece of paper out the best way I can, and when we come back, we are going to do the tail. Okay, so I figured the easiest way to do it is to bring Bob in for the show. There is his tail. The piece of paper came out mighty easy. It's gorgeously glittered. It To me, it smells like spice, cinnamon. It has a little piece of fuzz on it. Get, the, get off my damn bubble boy, fuzzhead. Man, okay. So he had a little tiny piece of fuzz on him. We took that off. The, the fuzz is free. <laughs> Here's my bubble bar with free fuzz. It is a reusable. You're supposed to, what you do is you either switch it around in your bath and then agitate, or you let the water hit it as it's running. So I'm going to just drop it in Bob and make it easy on myself. If you have earbuds in your ears, yank them out now. It's going to be loud, obnoxious, and noisy. It kind of reminds me of like 93,000 miles a little bit. Yeah, it's a nice spicy type scent. It's really good. I love it. You should have listened to me when I said pull your earbuds out. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Maybe I don't even need Bob. That is obnoxious. That is a loud, obnoxious noise. So far, so good. So far, bubbles are awesome. They're coming in very nicely. I should make it a little warmer. Yeah, a little warmer. All right. Come here, Bob. Yeah, see the stick already is starting to come out because I got the water only hitting one side. So as you're doing it, twist your, your reusable bubble bar around so you don't lose it into the tub. Or just get a strainer and do it that way. Like I'm doing. Oh my god, this smells so damn good. Alright, I'm loving the way this is smelling. I just got a text message when we were filming. I use my phone a lot. Um, I was using the camera, and guess what? It don't work. <laughs> it makes the videos horrible. The quality is garbage. So, I like using the phone. Next side. The piece of paper slid right out. No worries about it. You, could, you know, could have slid it back in if I wanted to later. I don't really think the piece of paper would hurt you or hurt anything. I'm pretty sure, knowing the company of Lush, it's a biodegradable something or other. Who knows, though. But once again, I'm still dealing with a back problem. I wound up twisting my back out or pulling it out. Whatever the hell you want to say it. So hopefully the uh, spices that are in this kind of tingle my muscles a little bit with the nice hot water. And it'll loosen up the back. But so far, I mean, we're getting an amazing amount of bubbles out of just the tail. And we don't even have to use the entire tail. I always like, I want to use the entire bubble bar, but this tub is so tiny that it would overflow with bubbles before I even had a chance to finish it, you know? So it would not be too good. All right, guys, I'm going to pause you for a hot minute. I'm going to crush up the rest of this bubble bar. Actually, do I need to? Nah, we'll just let it run. All right, I was going to pause you. I was going to crush it down. So that way it just, you know, did its thing, but I don't really think we need to. I think it's just going to do its thing just fine. And then if you have an amazing shower head like Fred over here, you can build up even more bubble. I'm not even, I have really bad water pressure. It's running through a strainer, but this one is giving off amazing bubble. I hope the color is really pretty. Maybe like a nice bright orange, not a yellow. But I tend to, I think they're naturally colored, like... You know, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on it. I could be wrong, but I think some of Luscious products are actually naturally color colored. Like, you know, beet, beetroots, beetroot juice or whatever it is to make red, and 
turmeric to make the uh, yellow or the orange. I think that's what they do. I don't know. I may be wrong. It's the one thing I have to go look up. You know where you can find an extreme amount of information? Uh, April, Miss Lush a lot. Her blogs, everything, an immense amount of. Oh, thank you. An immense amount of information there. She, she's got anything you need, she's got it on there. She is the Lush Oracle. You can ask her anything. Well, we're just about at the end here. And then if you have like a piece left over, you can just toss it in your tub. It'll melt down. Lush's formula is amazing. Uh, I have had some bubble bars that really didn't give a lot of bubbles, didn't really work too well. And then I've had some bubble bars that were absolutely incredible, like this one, where my bubbles overgroweth. <laughs> Friggin some it's a hit or miss, you know? It's a naturally like it like a natural thing that would happen with a handmade product. Some batches are amazing, some batches may have been the miss, you know. It's just what happens with handmade products. So here is the only bit we got left. I'm just gonna dump it in. And that'll be it. Stick, take out, dumped, we're good. Get rid of Fred, let's check out. Oh wow. So we have a very pretty and very bright, come on, orange bath with gold flecks. Oh, I'm loving it. Okay, it looks kind of washed out on camera, but I promise you, I'm gonna start in front of the shower, hang on. I promise you it's not, uh, it's not yellow, it's orange. The smell is not as strong as it is just smelling the bubble bar, but then again, this bubble bar I've had for a little bit. Yep, the bubbles are rebuilding right away. Look at that. It's a slight little agitation. The bubbles are rebuilding right away. Look at my gold flex. Um, in person, though. It is orange orange. Sometimes I see a lighter color than what you guys may say through my viewfinder. And then when I go to upload the video, I'm like, oh, it was orange. So I sound like an idiot saying that. Yeah. But on my viewfinder, it looks yellow. See my gold flex? Absolutely beautiful. So moisture, moisture's up there pretty high on this one. I say for a bubble bar, man, this thing's like an eight or a nine. Um, how does April do it? April does five out of five. And she goes, I, I give this one a five out of five. <laughs> I love her. She's so cute. But if you do want to check her out and get some amazing Lush information, Lush A Lot is her YouTube name. Um, she's really cool. Like She's a nice, down-to-earth, sweet person. And has all the information on all the amazing products we love. So that is your Lush Dragon Bubble Bar demonstration. I hope you enjoyed it. Here is our bubbles still withstanding. Pretty high. I am going to build them up again. I'm going to turn my shower head because let me show you what the shower head does. See the shower head does? Instantaneous. Home Depot. <laughs> Go get you one. No, I'm not promoting the shower head. <laughs> but I am telling you with the reusable bubble bars, the pinwheel didn't do it for me even though I love the smell. It just didn't build up a lot. It, it wasn't really worth it, but I got it to spin. So if you want to check that video out, that is another solid bubble bar from Lush. The pinwheel. Uh, dragon bubble bar. Just a half of him. Just his rump. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Building up the bubbles. Everything looks cool. The bubbles. There's my brush on the side. I only brush my hair like in the shower. I don't like doing it when it's dry. It hurts. And I don't want to rip my hair out. And there's all my gold flecks there. And a chunk of bubble bar on the bottom of the tub. <laughs> oh, he's gotten real tiny now. All right, so he, he's like almost done. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. And I do suggest, yes, go out and get yourself the Dragon Bubble Bar. It has a spicy smell to it. It does remind me of my 93,000 miles. May 93,000 miles rest in peace because Lush is getting rid of it. Because Lush has decided to get rid of everything that we like. They better be bringing us some amazing cool shit. I'm not settling for a couple of jelly bombs and some gelled face masks. I want some cool stuff, Lush. You're jipping us. You're taking away all of our favorites. 
Uh, we're gonna have to do a live chat about that, guys. All right. I love yous all. My bubbles are taking over. There is the last little shot of my pretty water with my gold flecks in it. Um, nice spicy smell. Lingering slightly. It doesn't linger all that much. So my hand is kind of dry on the other side now. It's not really lingering all that bad or all that much. So if it's not a smell that you want everywhere after the tub and you just want to relax in it, definitely for you. If you want to check out Lush UK, that is where I love to shop from. Lush US is a bit too expensive for me and they don't have every cool item that Lush UK has. The link is in the drop box at the very bottom. The very, very, very bottom because it was the very first link that I ever put up. So there you have it. Talk to you later. Love you guys.